I've come to see Roger Roussel of Roger's Wildlife Rescue, where he tells me he's got a rather prickly issue to deal with. So how did you come by this hedgehog? Well, this is one of uh, up to a dozen um, underweight youngsters that we had in in the autumn. Uh, we get up to sort of 20 very often in the winter. Right. Um, this year I haven't had quite as many, but it's made it a bit easier to look after them. Yeah. And it's just a question of feeding them up during the winter, keeping them warm indoors. And um, by the time the spring comes, they've, they've reached the optimum weight to survive, and then we can let them go. Well, that's fantastic. So what do you feed them on while you're looking after them? Well, we feed them on uh, dog food, uh, a dog meat and, uh, called Nature Diet, right. and a chicken-flavoured one. Feeding, you have to be careful with hedgehogs because um, it's still thought of these days that bread and milk is the thing to give them. Yes. Um, it isn't at all. It's quite poisonous to them. Right. And uh, just fresh water and dog food and cat biscuits. They like to eat crunchy oh. cat biscuits oh, as well. Oh, that's interesting. So, so uh, they certainly put on the weight very quickly. Yeah, that's good. feed them on that diet. Fantastic. And has this one, um, have you had to feed this one or has it been asleep all the time? No, no, we keep them awake. We can't let them hibernate oh, when they right. come in because they're underweight. So I they see. have to be kept warm. Right. And um, and fed throughout the winter. Right. Treat them just uh, like another, an, a normal pet, and you feed them every day. Right. And, okay. Um, and clean them out every day. So. And, yes, I should imagine it must take <laughs> a lot of time. They're quite <laughs> quite dirty creatures. <laughs> Um, and I know hedgehogs have been in quite steep decline. Um, yeah, over... massive decline. Yes. Um, so, what do you? Why do you think you? Why do you think that is? It's probably down to pesticides um, and the use of pesticides in gardens. I don't know uh, why people want to waste money on pesticides, to be honest, because no. they're quite expensive. And um, if people want to hedge help hedgehogs in the future, what can they do in their gardens to help them? Well, leave a wild area and um, you could put in a, a hedgehog box, which they do take up quite readily, um, fill it with dead leaves. Right. And, um, you know, tuck it away in a quiet corner, cover it over with brush and bracken and stuff, and uh, they will, uh, with any luck, take up residence in your garden. But the important Wonderful. thing is to make the garden hedgehog friendly and wait for the hedgehogs to come along. Right. And not try and get hold of hedgehogs, put them in your garden, right. which may not be hedgehog friendly. Right, I see. Is there anything else that people can do in their gardens to help? Well, we're talking about pesticides and things. The, the absolute no-no in the garden is slug pellets. Right. Um, they are total uh, anti-wildlife item and as well as being a killer for hedgehogs they're also a killer for thrushes oh, and right. um, hedgehogs and thrushes are all declining yes. and so that may be one factor in the fact that they are declining. Oh that's interesting and what's going to happen to this one now? Oh this one and all the others over the next couple of weeks will be released back into the wild right. at uh, sites that uh, I know are hedgehog friendly and um, and so it won't be long now before they're back where they belong. Oh, that's lovely. Terrific job. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Well, it looks like these hedgehogs have an assured future. But the real message we've learnt today is if you want to protect hedgehogs in your garden, be sure not to use pesticides and slug pellets.